All right, guys, the Iceman here on this Tuesday night, and um, last night's Monday Night Raw, I saw some really interesting things that went on, and, um, you know, the ratings were down for the most part, and, you know, that's understandably so because the fact that it was a taped show and a lot of people were able to see the show before it was actually aired at 8 o'clock. So, I mean, that's, you know... To me, they're making a big deal about the ratings being down, but, you know, it's not a big deal just for the simple fact that everybody got to see it earlier if they wanted to. Um, my uh, thing last night was um, John Cena and Bray Wyatt. Um, yeah, I just... WWE is in this situation where I don't understand where they're going or what they're trying to do. Because John Cena is their actual face of the company. The one who sells all the merchandise. The most merchandise. And the WWE is got to the point where they've got it. So Bray Wyatt is so over with the fans that John Cena gets booed. No matter um, any time there's a confrontation between Bray and John. John is on the downside of it all, and yeah, it's okay to a certain extent, but it's gotten to the point now where Bray Wyatt, I mean, last night in the UK, you saw all the lights in the darkness, and Bray Wyatt saying, um, you know, we have the, the whole world in our hands, and, you know, I, I'm sort of like befuddled by all this, I mean... There you have your face of your company selling all this merchandise, and yet you have the heel, so to speak, Bray Wyatt. Uh, you're you're making him to the point where the fans love him and dislike John Cena. And there's, I don't understand where you're going with this. And you know, and maybe it's just for the fact that the WWE is sort of like not really knowing where they're going with anything at this point um, because there's been so many issues, legalities and ratings and whatnot and with Daniel Bryan not, you know, being able to, you know, wrestle. There's just so many things going on. There's so many variables going on. And, but for me, I, you know, I, I, the Cena thing, I don't get. How do you try to make a heel more popular than your face on air? I mean, and you're doing it. You're the company. You're doing it. And it it doesn't make sense. You're supposed to make it so the fans want to cheer for Cena, want him to be victorious over Bray Wyatt, but yet you're, you're pushing and helping Bray Wyatt get with the fans you know i i don't understand it um and you know maybe i'm not supposed to understand it i don't know but um you know usually the face of the company or the face usually is the one who gets cheered not the heels and we know this has been a heel last couple of years within the wwe but i've never seen john cena get booed as much as he did last night in the uk and Bray Wyatt gets so praised. It, you know, now whether or not the WWE is, you know, upset by this, I don't know. Um, but to me, it doesn't make any sense. It's it's sort of like upsetting the whole chemistry of all, you know, what is and what isn't in the world of professional wrestling when it comes to heels and when it comes to faces and what are supposed to be done with both. So. Um, yeah, I was, I was just, you know, I was, I was left um, saying what's going on here, you know, but, um, and then the thing with um, Seth Rollins going up against Dave Batista, that was another issue I had last night for Triple H to come out as the ring announcer and have Randy Orton as a timekeeper or the bell keeper, whatever you want to call him, and then of course, Seth Rollins comes out and says, well, we had two guest commentators with JBL, Michael Cole, and Jerry Lawler. 
as you know in Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns, which sort of evened off the score. But yeah, I understand where they're trying to head because they're leading to payback, and it's going to be probably this match will probably be the main event. It has to be the main event. Um, Cena and and Bray Wyatt will be right up there. Um, because Daniel Bryan will not be wrestling. And then I'm wondering where where the Divas are going because Alicia Fox with her sort of like out of character type personality, the way she was again last night, um, ended up defeating Paige and sort of like acted like a child, you know, sort of celebrating and whatnot, taking the king's crown and whatnot. And uh, so whether or not she will be the person that faces Paige at Payback remains to be seen. But, um, you know, we also know that RVD is going to be the one who's going to face Bad News Barrett. Um, well, I, in my opinion, I thought that was a bad choice having RVD win the, uh, the match with the, you know, the quickest time to qualify. I thought it should have been either Dolph Ziggler, um, even Biggie Langston, but um, RVD, I, you know, I don't think RVD is going to win, but I see where they're going with this because if Wade Barrett defeats RVD, it's a big thing for Wade Barrett, so it makes him look a lot bigger than what he actually is, so. I, I see where they're going with this. The WWE is trying to come up with a lot of different scenarios to, you know, really try to improve because right now they're in dire straits. And, you know, in, in, uh, to be, be quite honest with you, if, if you go and watch Ring of Honor, War of the Worlds, you guys will, you get done watching that, you can't wait to see the next, the next, uh, event that comes up for Ring of Honor because it was so excellent. Global Wars was great. War of the Worlds was great. Um, so, I, you know, right now, Ring of Honor is like the second fiddle to the top of the wrestling world. I mean, really, because WWE is still there no matter what, regardless of how poorly their shows are. Um, there's, you know, there's, there's still a distant second. Uh, TNA was once there, I and I think they're really close with Ring of Honor, but as of late, I think with the Global Wars and War of the Worlds, Ring of Honor is sort of surpassed them a bit. But yeah, wrestling has been it's it, you know, you can't figure it out sometimes, you really can't. And you know, over this past weekend, uh, I you know, I enjoyed watching War of the Worlds and and then watching Raw last night with the the fans' reaction to John Cena compared to Bray Wyatt like threw me for a loop, and I'm thinking to myself, this guy is the face of your company, and you're treating him like he's garbage. And WWE really must rethink what's going on. And you know something, you know, you know, all kin decide. Maybe it's time. Maybe John Cena should step down as face of the WWE. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm just stating from what I'm seeing as of late. Um, it's just, it's really hard to tell. So, but anyway, to Tuesday night, um, needed to get this video out there because I'm going to be busy for the next couple days. And um, so we'll just see what happens next. Main event tonight, 8 o'clock. Peace out, everybody. Have a great night.